Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming with the Jaclyn Hill palette. Ah! I just got this yesterday and I have not touched it. Well, I did swatch two, but we'll get into that in a second. But yeah, so the first thing I wanted to do when I filmed, like when I got this palette was I looked at all the shades because you can see there's 35 and I was like, I wonder if I can recreate my favorite look from my favorite palette with this because my favorite palette is limited edition. And so it's right here. It's the Morphe Kathleen Lights palette. And I got this when it came out, how long ago was that? Like a year or two ago. And it's my favorite palette because it's so easy to work with. And I think you can tell that I love it. I've hit pan on at least three of them. But I have this one go-to look that when I don't know what to do, I do that. And it's my all-time favorite. I do it all the time. But I never filmed it because it's a limited edition palette, so you can't buy it. So it's like, well, what's the point if you can't recreate it? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if I can recreate and get the same look with the Jaclyn Hill palette that I get with the Morphe Kathleen Lights. So I have worn this look in videos before and if I can I'll like put a screenshot or something so you can kind of see or if I have like a selfie I'll put it up there. So on one eye I'm going to do the Morphe Kathleen Lights palette and then on the other I'm going to do the Jaclyn Hill palette. I have with me my Veramona color switch so I can dip my brushes into it so I can use the same brush for each eye and try to get the same effect. I've already done my brows and I primed but I haven't set my primer yet. And so one thing right off the bat about the Jaclyn Hill palette that I wish it had was a, I had the film on it. One thing I wish is that they had like a matte shade that's similar to one of these to be able to set my primer because also matte highlights work as well so you could definitely use that as a matte highlight especially if you're this isn't your skin tone and you're a little bit deeper so it's still like a versatile shade so I like using those and the and the Morphe Kathleen Lights palette has a shade and sometimes I use that to set and sometimes I don't but just so we can get the same effect with each eye, I'm going to go into my Sonia Kashuk Ion Neutral Palette and set with one of those shades. So normally the first thing I do when I start off this look is after setting my primer obviously is I go into this shade in the palette. I believe it does have a name, like if it's a standard Morphe shade, I'm gonna swatch it on here. So. I'll zoom in in a second so you can see it better, but I'm going to try to see if there's a shade similar to this in the Jaclyn Hill palette, and I'll be right back. So here are some swatches, and the one right dead center right there is the one from the Kathleen Lights palette, and then the one, this one right here is, I believe, the shade Butter, if I'm reading this correctly. Wow, it's not in focus. And then the one right here is MFEO, I don't know. And then this one up here is Silk Cream. So I don't know if on camera they look the same, but they are all so different. Well, not completely. These are similar. This one pulls off more red, I think. So I think I'll try to mix a couple of the Jaclyn Hill shades to get the Morphe Kathleen Lights one. So here we go, on a clean brush, I'm dipping into that shade from the Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette. And I'm just tapping off some excess and I'm going to put the Kathleen Lights palette on this eye right here. Maybe I should zoom you in a little bit more so you can get a better view. This is such an easy, simple look that I can do in normally like five minutes. 
and it, it turned out so nicely. So I've decided, whoa, my, this is huge, you can't really see. I'm going to mix, this is the shade, where your face? This is the shade, butter, and I'm going to mix it with, where are you? Um, I think this one right here, that one, M-F-E-O, and tap off some excess of that. So this side, I don't know if I had more shadow on the brush than this side, so I'm going to tap in again and try to build it up. And I'm not, this doesn't prove that like Morphe Kathleen Lights was more pigmented and whatnot and stuff like that. It's, I've never used the Jaclyn Hill pot before, so I don't know how to properly use it yet. I'm still kind of working on playing around with it. and. I think that I've built up the color enough to be the same like consistency or like saturation. I don't know. This side looks maybe a little more like an orangey brown and this one looks more reddish. But to the naked eye you can't really tell unless you really look closely. And I forgot to show you but I cleaned off my brush in between those two and I just cleaned it again. And now I'm going into this shade right here in the Morphe Kathleen Lights palette. If it focuses, this is woo, this is the Morphe Kathleen Light shade and this is Pukey from the Jaclyn Hill palette. So this one to me pulls more yellow and I can I feel like on camera you can see as well and this one pulls a little bit more red. This is has like a little yellowy orange to it so I feel like mixing the two shades it might get to be the Kathleen Lights color that I want, so we're going to do that. Before we mix those two, I'm going into the shade from the Kathleen Lights palette, tapping off excess. I'm focusing that on the outer corner and slowly working it in to my crease. I'm not really worried about the mattes and seeing if I can recreate the same look. What I'm worried about is the shimmer shade, because there's only one gold shade in the Jaclyn Hill palette, which is kind of sad, but I don't, I don't think she's a gold person. But yeah, so we're gonna see how that goes because I really love the gold in the Kathleen Lights palette. Now I'm going to mix Pukey in a little bit of cream sickle to get like a little more of a yellowy orange instead of a red. I feel like a bunch of these colors are pulling off red, so I'm going to focus that on the outer part and slowly work it in. And now I'm just taking Pukey, and I'm not taking the creamsicle shade. I'm working that in. You can't, you can't really tell, can you? So, I'm looking at my eyes, and they look pretty similar. I feel like this has a little bit more brown, so I'm going to try to find a brown. That now I'm going to take this shade Silky Creamer right here, and I'm going to try to see if that helps make it a little bit more brown. We'll see how that goes. Here it is right here, and I'll have like the name on the screen or something. So here's a bunch of swatches, and they kind of went a little wonky, but that shade right up here is from the Kathleen Lights, and it's a little bit more pinky, and then this is the Jaclyn Hill one, and this is more of like a warm tone gold, and what's the name of that shade? It's Queen. So this next part, I'm going to use two different brushes, but you'll kind of understand why. So what I'm going to do is take this little spray bottle and it has water in it and I'm going to spray this brush because the pigmentation on this shade in the Kathleen Knights palette is not that great. I get, I, it gets a little, I like it better as a wet shadow. So I took that on my brush and I'm going to apply that to my lid like so. And then I'm going to take 
queen right here that gold shade from earlier and then I'm going to take the shade obsessed to give it that little pinky look to it and I'm going to put that on my lid so we'll see how this goes I feel like I'm getting a little bit more of obsessed on my brush than queen but that's fine so now what I'm going to do is it's actually kind of funny how similar these look but this one's wet and this one's dry so that just kind of proves my point but I'm going to take queen again and I'm not going to put obsessed on and layer that on top and now I'm just going to take that fluffy brush from earlier and kind of blend out make sure there's no harsh lines so I'm going to get up close so you can see the difference this one is Morphe Kathleen Lights and this one's Jaclyn Hill so yeah I was right about the shimmer shade it doesn't really match up that well but overall I'm really impressed so far with the palette I think it's really nice and I'm gonna finish my makeup and share my final thoughts with you in a second so now that I have my makeup on you can I don't know if it's on camera if it looks different but in person they look virtually the same except you know if you're you pay a lot of attention to detail you would notice that the gold on one shadow is like a bit off from the other and that you know one might looks like a different tone but from far away or if some if you don't have people getting like this close to your face it looks virtually the same which I'm really excited about so if you like this look you can totally recreate it now because that's one of my favorite looks that I like to do so anyways if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up Comment down below how you use your Jaclyn Hill palette, if you like it, if you didn't buy it, if you're going to buy it, you know, just comment down below and comment down below what you thought of the Morphe Kathleen Lights palette, if they should bring it back, and um, be sure to subscribe before you leave for more videos, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!